Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so I did not know about this. Somebody just sent me this link. Um, was this fightnews.com, Takam versus Rokowski this Sunday. So in a few days here, well, about five days here, he's going to fight this Sunday in Macau um, at the Kotai Arena Venetian Resort in Macau. They're going to be fighting for the IBF. Well, he's a, it's a minor title. IBF Intercontinental title will be on the line. It's vacant. Um, Takam was set to fight Johan Duapa. They were talking about that fight in October, and the fight was set. They were just waiting for a, a, a venue. Um, you know, Duapa has the WBC silver title, so he was set to fight Takam. And then uh, the Stavern and Pavekin fight fell apart, and then Pavekin ended up fighting Duapa in December. So that kind of messed up things for Takam. So, and that fight was set for uh, the 28th. Um, so they found a replacement and it's going to be Rakowski. Um, when I break down this fight, I'm obviously picking Takam. I just think he is the, uh, just better all around fighter offensively, defensively. I think a punch harder box better. Um, Rakowski is a tough guy. You know, I'll say that about him. He, he will, um, come to fight. That's his style. At least the fights that I've seen him in, he comes forward, likes to throw punches, I know he's pushing 40. I think he's like 38, 39 years old. So he has uh, Takam by a few years in age. Um, so he's coming in on a losing streak. He lost his last two fights. He's lost to um, Andre Rarizic, uh, Warzik, or whatever, however you pronounce it. And he lost to Christoph Zimnock. The Zimnock fight was an entertaining fight. That fight's on YouTube. Um, he lost a split decision in that fight. That was an entertaining fight. They were both giving and taking. Looked like a few times. Looked like he was going to drop Zimnock there. Looked like he was going to get dropped himself in that fight. Um, but they were, that was a, a good uh, back and forth fight. Um, the Rorjik fight, he got stopped on his feet with a left hook. I remember watching that fight. Um, I did a post fight video on it. That fight was earlier last year. Um, yeah, Rorjik hit him with a left hook. Um, Rukowski didn't see it coming, kind of, you know, did a, his legs kind of went. He was still standing up, but the ref stepped in and stopped the fight. You know what I mean? Um, who else has he fought? Nagy Aguilera. I tried to look for that fight on YouTube. I couldn't find it. Um, and he fought Oliver McCall a few times. I uh, believe he went one and one. He split with McCall. So, you know, Rukowski will come to fight. I will say that. He will come to fight. He has an inch in height. On Takam, I think he's about 6'3", Takam 6'2", somewhere around there. Uh, Takam has the reach advantage on him, and I think they weigh about the same, like that 240-pound, um, 35, 40-pound range. Um, stylistically, I think this could be an entertaining fight as far as based on their styles because he's going to come forward. You know, Takam's last fight, you know, against... Um, his last fight against Parker, he, he he was the one being the aggressor and coming forward in that fight. Um, a lot of people thought that Takam could have got a draw in that fight. Some people thought Takam could have won that fight. I had Parker winning 7-5 against Takam, but Takam fought a damn good fight. Um, he held up his uh, technique and everything, held up late into the fight. Um, looked like he was in great condition in that fight. Um, but he came forward after Parker. I've seen Takam fight off his back foot when he fought Pavekin. Um, they fought in the trenches a little bit, and he was fighting off his back foot. Thompson, he walked him down. Perez, you know, he'll walk certain guys down, but he does have the ability to fight off his back foot. I think he could just beat uh, Rakowski in just different ways, whether he's coming forward, um, making a miss while he's coming forward, or he's using his jab. He showed a good jab in a Parker fight, Takam did. Um, and I think he could just counter this guy and turn him in. You know, Takam is a versatile fighter. You know what I mean? So I give him the advantage in this fight. Uh, Rakowski's best chance is trying to throw a right hand. He likes to throw hooks. He's a big, um, he's big on throwing hooks. He likes to just get close and throw a lot of hooks. Or he'll try to walk you down with a hard one-two, meaning a jab, straight right hand. Um, so can he get lucky and land a home run hook? Or is he going to land a, a straight right hand coming down the middle? You know, but I'm going to pick Takam in this fight, man. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section about this fight. I'm out.